Hello everyone, you are welcome to quick basic programming language tutorial which is designed to familiarize beginners with the method and procedures of writing a computer program. Here I am having quick basic with me version 4.5. We have different kind of versions of quick basic, but this version 4.5 is one of the most accepted quick basic programming versions. Now I'm going to install this quick basic uh, program language into my computer system and um, we're going to find out some of the ways in which we can write program with it now I will install okay I just wait for a while almost there and here we have it so now let us go to the desktop background there we'll find quick basic um icon then we'll click twice on it okay I think I'm opening two of it now okay so yeah it is let me zoom this out for you to see clearly and here we have it now um quick basic this quick basic interface immediately after it has opened like this uh you will see something of this kind so you come here and press escape or you click on escape on your keyboard so you will click escape then here we have it so quick basic we show this blue background or this blue interface for us to write and design a program now to design quick basic program uh, we used to start with the rem which is for which is for which is to title a program rem is to title a program then um, we just write program to display hello world so that is the program we are writing now program to display hello world so we come here and we write a statement called print this print statement is uh, for displaying the outputs of a program so we just come here and we print and we will type hello world so um you close the inverted comma then you come down and you press end so with that you will run the program by pressing shift f5 or coming here click on run and click on start and here we are having a low world in the output screen so these are methods that we use in writing quick basic programming language we have some other statements like input statements we have some other like uh, conditional statements using if then statement we have some uh, other statements like let and so many many more statements like that the more you go uh, writing program with um, quick basic the more you know how to use this statement better and better so for you to even find more help with quick basic programming language you have you can come here to up you click on it then you come you click either click on index or you click on content if you click on content you find something of this such oh let me bring it out again okay you find something of this such now uh, we have up on up we have content um, we have um, index we have product su support we have copyright there so uh, the help that you need most is happens to be under content and under index so if you're in context you see something like using quick basic the short cut key summary the edit key the view key the search key the uh, run and debug key 
uh, help key and so many apps like that also for you to know about some syntax of quick basic you can click on syntax notation it tells you uh, how to uh, go about the syntax now for the index part you are going to find all uh, the statements found uh, that can be used in quick basic programming language in alphabetical order in alphabetical order uh, you, you you will be going uh, scrolling down and be finding some of the some of the uh, uh, statements that you can use in quick basic for example uh, let us look for print print um, print and here we have our print here so if you want to know how to use print statement you just come and click on the on this twice to bring it out on how to use clean, uh, print statement you can click on example for you to see some of the examples of our print statements has been used in the program so these are the introductory parts of a uh, quick basic programming language and I am very sure that the more you move uh, with this tutorial the better you understand how to write program with quick basic thank you so much for being